With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says study the given pedigree chart and answer the given questions. So here we see that uh, the, both the parents are not having the disorder and the children are having the disorder. So that means the parents must to be heterozygous dominant for the trait. So this is supposed to be a recessive disorder most probably. So this is Catholic. So here both the parents are going to be heterozygous for the trait. While we see that this is going to be small a small a. This is capital A capital A capital A capital A or they may be homozygous. So since it is a dominant trait, so it may be heterozygous or homozygous. So this we have rightly found out the cross that means it is a dominant type of cross. But on the other hand, we must see that it should not be a recessive type of cross. Let's see why it is not recessive. So let's work out another probability for this cross. Now, if it is a recessive cross, that means it should be small a small a and small a small a. So the entire progeny will be defective here, right? So this this ha this cannot be capital A small a in that matter because this is diseased here. So this is not possible that the parents are the recessive ones. So this trait which is traveling here in this progeny is basically a dominant trait. So is the trait recessive or dominant? As the trait is shown by these individuals and parents are normal capital A small a capital A small a that means this trait has to be recessive. So it was hidden in one generation and it you know expressed in the other one. So that means it is going to be a recessive type of a disorder. Is it sex linked or autosomal? Since it does not show the crisscross inheritance so it should be a autosomal disorder. Now we need to find out the genotype of the parents in generation 1. We have already found it out and their third and the fourth child in the generation. So we need to find out for this. So this will be capital A small a most probably because this will be capital A small a again the heterozygotes and this has resulted in formation of this first child in the third generation as small a small a while the others will be capital A capital A or capital A small a anything right. So the third and the fourth child in the second generation will be small a small a and the fourth one will be capital A small a right. So this is all about this query thank you. For class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today.